Okay, in this video, we're going to calculate real GDP given the GDP deflator and nominal GDP. We're going to calculate real GDP per capita. And then finally, we're going to calculate the real output growth rate between these years and the real output growth rate per capita between these years. So let's start with the first one. The formula for real GDP is simply nominal GDP divided by the price index over 100. So this is really a plug and play problem. Let's look at year three. It's 5,000. So let's go ahead and, and write that out. So 5,000 and then it's divided, it's divided by the price index over 100. But remember, whenever you divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying times the inverse. So that's really the same thing as 100 over the price index, which is the GDP deflator of 125. And if you take a quick look, you'll notice that this can easily be reduced because 25 goes into 100 um, four times, and 25 goes into 125 five times. So really, you're just taking 5,000, multiplying it times four-fifths. Well, 5,000 times four is 20,000. 20,000 divided by five, is 4,000. So that is your real GDP for year three. All right, now, what about year two? What's real, uh, I'm sorry, year four. What is the real GDP for year four? Well, it's the same things, except different numbers. Now you have 6,600 as your nominal GDP. And then again, you're doing the same thing. Divided by the price index over 100 is the same thing as multiplying by the inverse. So it's 100 over 150. And of course, that easily reduces. And you can see that 50 goes into 102 times, 50 goes into 153 times. So you're really just taking 6,600 times two thirds. Well, 6,600 divided by three is 2,200. And then multiplied by two is 4,400. So that is the real GDP for year four. So let's write that out. And now the third question is asking is, what is real GDP per capita in year three? Well, you just take the 4,000 and you just divide it by the population. And of course, that's 11. I chose easy numbers here, all right? So this one, we probably should go ahead and, and take out a calculator and do the calculation ourselves. So that would be 4,000 and then divided by 11, and that gets us... 363.6, and I'm going to round that off. So we'll just call that 364. That's our real GDP per capita in year three. Great. Do the same thing for year four, except this time we're going to take the 4,400 figure, and we're going to divide it by its population for that year, which is 12. So let's do the numbers, 4,400 divided by 12. That gets us 366.6. And I'm going to round that up to 367. And now we're set for answering the remaining two questions, which is what is the rate of real GDP growth between year three and year four? Well, that's between these two figures. So the difference between those two figures is 400. And of course, the real GDP in that first year is 4,000. Whoops, I wrote too many zeros there. So just 400 divided by the real GDP in year three. And then you're just multiplying that times 100%. Well, of course, 400 divided by 4,000 is one-tenth. One-tenth times 100 is equal to 10%. So that's our answer for real GDP growth between those two years. And then for the grand finale, it is what is the rate of real output growth per capita between those years? Well, now we're looking at the differences between these, the rate of growth between these two numbers here. Well, the difference is three. The original figure is 364. And again, makes sense to crack out the calculator. Three divided by 364 is 0 
And of course, 0 0.008 times 100%, if we move the decimal place over, is just equal to 0.8%. And that is the growth rate of the real output growth per capita between year three and year four. And that's pretty much it. Take care and until next time.